and we're back. And we're live. Hi, I'm Garnbreak1, and this is Midgardia RPG. Today we'll be playing Crossroads, a D&D 5th edition campaign designed by me. Uh, yeah, today I have with me these various players. Hi. I think you're first. I'm uh, Hikaru, also known as Karu. I am playing Archie, a human gearsmith crafter. Craftsman. Hi, I'm Pi. I'm going to be playing Dacio. Dacio is a pyromancer alchemist triton. And if that doesn't give you a headache, then him talking will. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zayo. I'm playing Amaris, who is a trick shot gunslinger, and she has a pet chicken with her name Sunny. Hi, I'm Sho. I'm playing Askan, the Domain of Flame cleric, who is a water ganasi. Alright, and uh, where we left off last time, you guys have discovered that the blacksmith Juladan had uh, been being... Well, you're not really sure, but there was something involving goblinoid uh, tracks, and you tracked them over to the burial mound at the edge of town, which is freaky and glows blue at night. Huh. And I believe that's where we had left off. Uh, I don't remember if you were actually placed on the map for No, that. we're going ghost hunting! Uh, well, we had not been placed on the map yet, though we did say we were tracking them, and had been tracking them for not terribly long. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, start with, why don't y'all give me stealth rolls? Because <laughs> this is gonna go great. 17. 11. Shit, I forgot to pray to my god. Oh, well. and... Does anyone have aid or anything? I... Not aid, but... Uh... Guidance? I feel like we should have done that, but anyway. Yeah, I, I, I... Uh, Garm, mine is a 17. I use chainmail, so I have disadvantage. Okay. And nine. Oh, right. I warned you, y'all should have had guidance. My, mine is a flamboyant firebird. My god. So I don't really think he cares for stealth. Give me one moment to place you guys on the map here with that in mind. Meanwhile, I'm used to sneaking around to not get noticed when I get in trouble. I'm too busy looking for her ass. Yeah. I'm just going to briefly double check and make sure that I, I did enable dynamic lighting. Good job, Pascar. I'm very <laughs> happy for you. Alright. Shift pink, please. Hey. Should be at the top left. Yep. Oh, there we mm -hmm. go. Top left. Uh. Do you, do you guys see everything? Did I leave global illumination? I can yes, only I see my... I see black. Oh, well, huh. Huh. Okay, I can see. I can just only see my health bar, and everyone else is like an NPC. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I can I see can two see... health bars. I two? can see uh, and mine. health bar. And oh, okay. okay. So you can all see mine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that's weird, but none of you can see the area at all. I can, I can see, see areas. over. I see green grass and then yep. black. Mm -hmm. And north, this <laughs> north is that way, so that's that's good. Um, Archie, can you see a, a, anything directly to the right of you? Uh, yeah, I see a tunnel. Great. All right, then everything is working fine. Uh, except for that one chunk of lighting at the very south that didn't okay. work right. The gray part. I was going to ask about that. Yeah. The gray part. <laughs> yes. Uh, wow. Uh, we're, we're, we're... I, I missed the line, apparently. Mm. <laughs> mm. There we go. That should fix it. Um, yeah. It looks oh, like I... crap on my side because it's the wrong color, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is it supposed to extend past the map? How can you even what? see that it extends past the map? Uh, like the, the shadows. What do you mean past the map? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a, a scratch. If you will. Okay. Uh... Anyway, um, so you're at the edge of the burial mound while Pi figures that out, mm -hmm. and it's it, it, it's basically it's where they buried bodies, as the name would uh, 
suggest? Oh, like, uh, sorry, Pi. That basically has to do with the zoom. Uh, roll twenty is really weird. If you zoom in a bit, that ew. white area goes away. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that happens a lot with roll twenty. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, do you guys know what a burial mound is? Yes. Yeah, I think so. But why don't uh, you explain to it just in case? Yeah. Okay, so, so we know what we're supposed to know. <laughs> uh, basically, a burial mound is what people did before cemeteries, more or less. You would. God, I literally looked at a exhibit about this in a museum like less than a month ago. Um, <laughs> but basically. <clears throat> Dig, dig a hole, throw a body in it, cover with dirt, throw more bodies on top of it over and over. And that's how it becomes a mound. Yes. It also saves on space. Yep, because you're you're using a lot of vertical area. <laughs> and everyone is basically equal. Yes. Uh, so you've got like some overgrown grave markers here that are not the symbol pointing north. Um <laughs> Other than that, it looks like there's some recently dug. Sorry, I've got to uh, leave this fucking Discord server. They keep pinging everybody. It's really annoying. Um, That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's the worst. Uh, aside from that, yeah, it's it looks like it's had some um, recent earth work done on it. Like there's some new. There's there's tracks leading in here and here. Uh, right here, it looks like part of the tunnel has collapsed. Oh. Well, that's on unfortunate. purpose? Uh, it's unclear. Are there any fresh tracks near where it looks collapsed? Like, did anyone use it and then collapse it? Or is it just like, eh, this thing vaguely happened and nobody's cared about it for a while? Uh, can you give me an investigation check? Hmm. Sure could. Twelve. Uh, it's hard to tell if it was intentional, but you can see tracks that seem to like go through it. Um, like a small creature has carefully worked its way through mm. the, the rubble. Not a ghost. Gotcha. Are those tracks recent? Yes. <laughs> now, if there's that much rubble and they had to work their way through it, that means that the heavy thing that they were dragging from the blacksmith's shop probably didn't go through that hole. That's a good point. Uh, are there any, say, cart tracks on the other one? <laughs> uh, it was more like a more like a sled than anything, but yes, there's some flattened grass over okay. here. Hmm. Alrighty. Guys, there's a hole here. Hmm. I was gonna say, you said there were two entrances, one that was covered up and one that was not? Yes. Okay. This is the Sorry, I was writing, so I only saw one of the things. Uh, the hole, the hole in the top one is small enough that Amaris could fit through it without much difficulty. Ooh! Get back here! <laughs> no! <Nope>. Yoink! yoink. <laughs> Double yoink! I could go check! Uh-uh, no. You could, but you aren't. Why nope. not? It because we me. can't save you. I don't need saving. Yes, but I mean, we can't save people from you. Do I have to carry you? No. Cause I will. Good, because I'm not helping. <laughs> yeah, the long scarf is a leash. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that and you just grab her tail. No, <laughs> that's rude. No, I mean, no, no. One of us grabs the leash, one of yeah. us grabs the tail. <laughs> so she can't slip out of the leash. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so... What would you folks like to do? Uh, carefully... What I want to do, I can't do. Yeah, because we're not letting you. <laughs> Caref yeah, carefully start entering cautiously right. with my... Archie, seven my dear friend, can you, can you give me a perception check? Yes, I can do that. I would like to... Uh, remind... Because people were flooding it before I could finish. Uh, Archie, you notice that right here there's a tripwire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we didn't let just, you know, bum rush. Okay. <laughs> I will 
point out that there is a tripwire right in front of me to be careful and to step over it. I wonder what it does. No. I was actually going to say, I'd like to look at it and see what it does. Hey. Uh, do you want to give me an investigation check to try and figure that out? Sure. Yeah, I'm going to pray to uh, the phoenix and be like, please inspire him to actually know what he's doing when he looks at that tripwire and not set it off. <laughs> so he take guidance. 10 US, but okay. Uh, is that advantage or is that plus blank? Plus a D4. Oh my god! Okay. This is because 27. you have tracked your lab before, haven't you? <laughs> Listen, maybe if some little kobolds didn't run into my place, I wouldn't have to trap the lab, now would I? It just means I get really good at noticing them, though. As you <laughs> investigate the tripwire and follow it, you see that it goes into a wall and... Uh, there is, like, behind a, a couple of stones and such, there's a, um... A horrible contraption of like gears and bells and like a slide whistle uh, <laughs> that would be triggered if you were to hit the tripwire. Is it a wow. Bruzella? It makes it makes lots of noise. Okay, let's not make not lots of noise. Would would no? Never mind. I'm. Don't I'm... ask it out loud. Don't give her ideas. Yeah, no. No, I was going to say, would cutting it deactivate ah, it? And I'm like, yes, no way. Would. That that would it, actually it would activate it. <laughs> I mean, kind of depends on how it's set up, but... but Let's not test that. If it's a tripwire, probably pulling on it or yeah. changing the... Uh, Tension. Pressure. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we're just going to carefully walk over it. Most of us are tall enough to do that with a uh, little issue. Just like hoist the uh, hammer a little bit. Yeah, I'd, I'd help. Yeah, just that. Just... Yeah. You so... s you see the uh, the the raptor's tail just go really high, just so that it doesn't trip it as it passes. Amazing. I take an extra. I take caution to stay an extra step behind the raptor as its tail goes whoop. <laughs> yeah, it goes up no, and just nearly slaps probably. you in the face. <laughs> Oh, I, is I'm... basically hugging her tail as she carefully goes over it. Is... <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Am I seeing like a door or is that like a dead end? Uh, that is a dead end right there. Okay. Alright. Uh, also, I... this place is tinted blue. Ooh. Is it? Garm? Is it? Um... Yeah, let me let me tint the map. Hold on. <laughs> yes, spy. Uh, can you put a scribble line where the tripwire is for when we have to leave? Oh god. Sure. Oh wow, that that's is... awful. What the fuck? Maybe a little less blue, Garm. Yeah. Garm, can you do a thing where you don't have it completely intensely? Yeah, that's what I want to say. Mm, I don't think you can change the opacity of a tint, but you could pick another color. That's not gonna help. We'll pick another one that's like amorous color. Why is then. it all blue? Because there's Cause it's a ghost. Oh, that's. Is that right. better? No. Not really. I, was I think I yes. think I think we're gonna. You, you, mind's you eye. Idea. Mind's eye. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's just theater of the mind it. Let's let's theater of the mind it. See, um, because of some marks on the map, uh, I had to double layer the map and then cover them up on your end, so I can't really see what you see. In um... fact, every token looks like a ghost to me because <laughs> it's all like it's. I have the actual map on the DM layer. Oh, um, I know your pain. Yeah, so we're trying to figure out what the colors. I I do not. I got nothing. Uh, <laughs> anyway, fair. so you've got more rubble here. Mm -hmm. Oh, also the the glowing blue is from, from lichen all throughout the place. Ooh, ooh, nice. Are there any med medicinal purposes that that lichen can? Serve? Screw that! Uh, I'm taking some anyway. Ah, <laughs> all right. You know what? I'll take some just so I can examine it later. I've got an herbalism kit to put it in too, though. Energy, you're the uh, yeah, what are you going to do about that rubble, my friends? The rubble? How much is the rubble covering my line of sight to the uh, goblins that are up ahead? <laughs> Karu! What? I guess no, we knew what we were tracking. Check. Okay. Because on, we on the map I can see them. Yeah, but... you're, you're probably right. Like, we're expecting goblins. Uh, five. <laughs> 
We're expecting goblins. We don't find any. <laughs> you can't see a goblin. Okay. I, I'm, ass- <laughs> I'm assuming I can see the light, however. Yeah, you can you can see light. There is a actual fire up there. A non-blue fire, basically. A non, yeah. Okay. So it's, is it actually purple because it's tinted? <laughs> Moving um, on. I'm not the color theorist here. You'd have to ask like Zio how that works. Uh, it depends because it's pretty bright. So. Um... Wow. So <laughs> your voice got deeper. What? <laughs> <laughs> I said you'd have to ask Zio. You started talking, Karu. Good job. Thanks, Are you Zio? No. (laughs) Oh, wait, you're me? That means you can go to work tomorrow for me. Thanks. Uh, no. Nope. (laughs) Anyway, comrades. Okay, Um, so this thing is basically filling the tunnel enough so that a normal person cannot fit, but maybe the tiny Amorous could? You'd have to squeeze, basically. Hmm difficult with armor, not to mention you have a raptor. Oh. Um, yeah. I have a question. Yes, my friend. When we were walking, uh, Amaris, where's your chicken, Sunny? Um, originally Sunny was with, uh, Silver, but I don't know if, uh, Amaris, since we were traveling, has Sunny again. Basically, do we have to worry about the chicken randomly going peep? Um, uh, it's probably... Kind of cuddled in my scarf right now, so no, it's but probably comfy. Theoretically, beep. Do actually, honestly, before entering, I probably would have suggested that it might be safer if uh, Sunny was inside Silver. Does it have like a little chicken compartment? Yes, it does. Probably, we, probably. If, we already if it didn't before. We already established that in the first session. Right. Because I'm pretty sure that either Archie, um, Askin, or I would have made a bag on a string to put in the inside of the raptor. <laughs> Basically, sure. on the neck part, it has a compartment that Sunny fits in, that is nice and like decked out with like and a nest. padded and whatnot. Yeah, yep. adorable. <laughs> All right. Raptor's name. So again? yes, Sunny would Silver. be in Silver. The nest. Okay. There we go. Uh, What's okay. the butterfly's name? Luna? Luna. Luna. Amaris got to name both of them. Yep. No, well, at least it was pronounceable. <laughs> um. Hmm. The thing is, we can move the rocks to be a bit more passable, uh, but that might alert people. I that might be the point. A look. No. Why not? I can at least look. Uh, can't we send the moth to not fly, but just crawl? I not feel like flying. flying would attract more attention. Mm, true. What with the flickering lights. True. All right. I'll, uh, that's going to take longer, but... That's too bad. Or yeah. you could have me just go I take know. a look. No. Oh. One sec. I just realized I fucked something up. Oh? You remember okay. that uh, dead end you encountered? Yes. It's not a dead end. Yeah, I misread the map slightly. That is not a dead end. Oh, okay. What is it? Is, is this the... We uh, should go back? Is it a yes. tunnel? That's... It's not a door. Um, Amorous. Basically, it's there's here. there's a part of the map that goes under that area. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. So it's not a dead end. It doesn't have a door. It just continues oh. on. It's just... Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh... That just goes on straight. Sorry, I... I used the wrong color on the dynamic lighting layer so I couldn't actually see the walls I put. Okay. Um, uh, huh. We should probably uh, consider going that way. However, I think it I... might still be a good idea to check what's on the other side of this. Yeah, I would I would also suggest watching where we step because we've already seen that this place has at least some traps. Also dead body. Yeah, also yeah. dead body. Oh. And suspiciously different colored floor. Okay. Uh, that's no, that's because, because of a... the tunnel thing. The tunnel. Uh, Garmin, um, I'm gonna send Luna walking over to see if see what she can see where the light is coming from the uh, firelight. Sure. Uh, what were you gonna say, Pi? I was wondering if does Thorn Whip make a noise if I try and use it quietly? Like, yeah, could uh, I do it quietly? It's a whip, isn't it? 
Uh, Does it have verbal component? Damn it. No. Um, it, I yes. thought it was verbal and semantic. It's yes. Um, I told you to put the spell description in the attack. So I no. hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you just switch it to the spell card real quick? Can you? Use then it would win. <laughs> Can Sorry, you use a whip quietly, though? Yeah, uh, that's. That's it, my question. It depends on whether you're cracking it or not. But I figure normally it'd be used for an attack to basically, uh, I think this does, and this does more, piercing damage. Yeah, more um, or less. Oops, sorry. But if you did it slowly, it would be, I would imagine it would be less effective, but the idea is, could I use it to pull something 10 feet closer to me, or would it always make a noise no matter what? I think it would always make a noise. Okay. Can I try looking for traps, Garm, in this tunnel before oh, we continue uh, on? Oh, yeah, sure. Give me a perception check. And okay. Carter, you want to send Luna ahead? Yep. There are no traps ahead of you. Okay. All right. Uh, can you drag Luna, or do I need to do that? I don't think Luna has a token. You're the raptor right. has a token, and Luna does not. What the fuck is that? Is a, I think uh, a tiny construct. Yeah, um, hold on, guys. What up? No, I just... Oh, you're, you're just, making, you're just making Luna. Okay, I That's thought you Luna. had that body come to life. No. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> also, the small lane. Mm -hmm. You control Wait. that? I don't see it. Did it's it over by Amaris. And... He, he put it where you can have line of sight. Yep. Yeah, you might want to stand on top of Dacia. You might want to give me line of sight on Luna. That you know that could be that could be an idea. Mm -hmm. Did that fix it? Yes. Cool. The mm -hmm. tiniest of tinies. Yep. Well, you said it was small. Oh, it is. It, it is. It is Peep. tiny. Oh gosh, where to go? <laughs> she grabbed Somewhere it this way. <laughs> oh, where right. I sent her. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'd like to point out how am I last in the alphabet and there are only four of us and I'm letter starting with the letter D. <laughs> yeah. Because three of us are starting with the letter A. Kurt, uh as Luna as Luna skulks into that room, you see well, I'm actually gonna put the goblins more or less back where they were now that you anyway, um you see that they are very quiet and well and uh what's the word? Look, they're being very attentive for goblins. Quiet, listening, waiting. Oh, hmm. Are they looking in any one direction? Towards the entrances. Uh, yes, you? Hmm. What's with this body? Dead body. It's a burial map. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I wanted to make sure. Yeah. Did it die recently? Uh, nope, it's straight up a skeleton. Well, that doesn't mean anything. Well, I mean, yeah. You have you could reasonably assume that uh, as they were digging these tunnels, they probably uncovered a lot of skeletal remains, and being goblins, they just kind of left them there. Fair enough. At least they didn't eat them. Uh, um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does sure. it look eaten? No. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Sorry, somebody was. Yes. What else can I see in this room? Uh, there's a fire, there's a... There's some uh, boxes of weapons there. You can see uh, some sitting on top. If you look closely at them, you can see the, like, maker's mark that Juladan uses stamped on them. Okay. Uh, you can see some clothing, some uh, mostly eaten apples, some bones, sacks of what I think are flour... Do the oh. goblins look like they're ready to fight, or more curious as to yep. who's coming into their territory? Um, they look right. They have weapons out, but you can see they don't look like the most confident force. You can, uh, as, as you're watching them, you see one of the back ones go. Should we? Should we? Should we run? And one of the other <laughs> ones elbows him in the uh, in the in the gut. And goes no. Okay. Quiet. That's good to know. I can't do goblin voices as well as Carter. I should work on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should we be quiet? No. Uh, 
Oh, shit. So oh. basically, when you want your voice to crack, it won't. <laughs> hey, hey, Zio, did you just... Yeah, you did. Uh, yeah, alright. Okay, well, uh, good news, everybody. It's time for initiative. Oh, I mean, great. I mean, Amaris is gonna be like, hi there. Yeah, I was... She doesn't look threatening. She's a kobold. <laughs> I was gonna say yeah, right. I go I go back to the the others that are on the bottom half and go okay goblins up ahead they don't seem threatening very, very... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and right as you do that you hear uh, yeah yeah and then the sound of a sword swinging through the air oh, great <laughs> I have bad news for you uh, Amaris you're you're gonna get an attack off on you for I know. this oh. Wow. Yeah, that'll hit. Only one, though. 23. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's I'm 7 sorry, piercing what? damage. Okay. Oh. I thought that was Oof. the damage, 23. No, no. That would be Actually, no. 23 wouldn't have taken me down. Oh. <laughs> Amaris may be small, but she's technically our tank in terms of HP. <laughs> it's kind of horrifying. Well, that doesn't yeah. say very much. Uh. That's fucked up. Uh, <laughs> in order, Amaris, you're you're up first. You get the well, feeling they're not friendly. The pointy feeling, even. Hmm. Hang on a second. I just want to double check something. First of all, it it doesn't actually matter because I net twenty, but I forgot I have a. Uh, was it? Oh no, it was programmed. Never mind. I have advantage on initiative rolls. Yeah, it doesn't show it, and it makes it really confusing. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah. It, it only shows it if you hover over. Yeah. I'm just double checking something because I. Yeah, okay. Um, Question Would Askin be considered in melee right now? I'm around yes. the corner. Oh, okay. I am? I guess. Okay. I'm asking because I am in. Pack tactics. Yeah. Yes. So I have advantage, which will negate the fact I am right beside this guy. Oh yeah, alright. Um... And fuck. I don't remember how to do this shit, it's been a while. Okay. Oh, uh... No, wait, never mind, never mind. You're good. Okay, I am... Going to try and aim for his hand so they can drop his weapon because right. I don't want to really hurt. It's like, ow, that hurt. Stop that. Drop your weapon. Ow, no. you stabbed me with a sword. Uh, you miss. Yeah, I kind of figured. And that's a very loud weapon. Yeah. I was about to say, how bad does that echo? Boom. <laughs> Quite badly, yes. You can you can reasonably assume that anything else in this place now knows you're here. Yeah, good going. D what that's... do you guys expect to bring a gunsling into these tunnels? Does, oh, what's her? Does some of the dust like fall from gunslinger arm? Okay. Uh yes. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not dust. It's like cake. Uh, yeah, oh. sure. Uh, I don't know if that would work. Uh, it doesn't say Garm. Um, I have this. Yeah. I didn't have disadvantage. I mean... Because pack tactics. I'm asking if it's possible. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to remember the exact word. Because, yeah, alright, it's it's the neutral rule because it just completely cancels. Um, sure. Okay, I'll use my bonus action to try again for half damage. Wait, these places have hard walls and not squishy soft walls? Mm -mm. It's packed dirt. No. Oh. Yeah, right. Uh, 22 hits. Oof. So it'll be half damage. So it's three. Hey, Zio. Mm hmm. You don't have a modifier to that? To the damage? No. Mm -hmm. It's a gun. I know, but. I Why need it hard? Wanting it harder isn't going to make it go faster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Double check that. It does not allow the dex mod to be added in. But okay. it's also 2d6 damage show. Yeah, yeah. I suppose. Uh, ask it. what would you like to do? Well, I see this thing trying to hit her, or after it hit her. It did hit her. Yeah. 
I, I'm going to have to try and get it to back off, so I guess I'll just take a swing at it with my scimitar. I know right. it's got at least half cover, but, you know. Yep, you're at disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage. Half, cover, half cover. Half cover is plus, plus two yes. to their armor cost. And you're also at disadvantage. Awesome. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, no. Yeah, this place feels really unsettling and it's throwing you off. You you know that you're in like basically how you're fighting basically on the inside of a cemetery. It's uh it's not good for your psyche. <laughs> and more or yeah, less Phoenix no. probably does not approve of these guys in here, but also does not approve of violence in cemetery. Indeed. I mean that just makes the bear a little easier. Um rude. <laughs> No, but Phoenix is a deity of life and rebirth, so... Indeed. Um, yeah, no, you you miss. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to then uh, look at uh, look at my little friend over there, kind of pat her on the shoulder, and cast Shield of Faith on her. All right. Cool. So that's a plus two to your AC, since you're clearly oh, going into this. That's that, a concentration. Yep, that breaks aid. Oh, shit. I forgot Time. about that. Oh, well. Sorry. I forgot. Alright, and it's it's Goblin Sneaks' turns. So right. that's 29. I mean, Amaris said hi and then was like, can you not? And then at least didn't try to aim for the head. But unfortunately, he did. Uh, guys, I see goblins going the other way. Dacio, be careful. Silver's in between Dacio okay. and... That, that's good, I just want to make sure. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Alright, uh... I've got various bad news for you, Amherst, and it's mostly getting stabbed. Mostly means not completely. Uh, <laughs> that's sure. in that one. Are you sure, Garm? <laughs> yeah, as his weapon impales itself on a wall. <laughs> Amos just looks at him and is like, does that mean you give up? You don't have to fight. Uh, and Where right as he, like, talk? crouches over to try and grab his weapon out of the wall, a arrow flies over his head. And that is a 14. Uh... Fourteen actually misses. Well, and it uh, blinks the wall above you. <laughs> you have reason to believe that no, this does not mean he gives up any of them. Uh, and I think that's if... all right. Dacio, you're up. Great. You mean the other way? I thought that they couldn't get. Oh, that. Indeed. Mm -hmm. That was a large enough for amorous sized things. Yes. And goblins it? are amorous sized things. Yep. Fucking wonderful. Alright. Um Well, that changes plans. Uh twenty foot radius. Oh dear. That's oh, yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Oh, how many? Hey, Garm, I don't. Yes. I can't see enough of the map to test this out. How much area, in terms of like actual squares, will a twenty-foot radius uh, circle take up? A lot. And by circle, I mean sphere. Um. Does it go through walls? It goes around. Boy. What what are you trying to do exactly? Uh, oh, hey, I can whisper to GM. Hmm. Fog cloud, okay. Thanks, Garm. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> Asshole. Um. What's the fucking point? Just go ahead and open your damn mouth. <laughs> anyway. Uh, are you just you like so you're trying to conceal the area basically? I'm trying to see is if I use it, 
as far away as possible. Um, how badly will it screw over Amaris and Askin? Oh, so if you do it like... If you do it at the end of this hallway over here, it would not hit Amaris and Askin. Okay. Shall I, well, I could screw first? them over if I wanted to use it at level two. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah, if I only got 15 health because somebody decided to concentrate on a little baby. Sorry, I forgot. Y'all should be glad I didn't just cast it at level two. Alright, 20 foot radius, Sophia. Give me a second while I try to remember how rule 20 works. So, up to there, alright. Do you want me to draw a circle? Yeah. And I can just embiggen it. Embiggen, right. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Eh. I said alt, damn you. No? Damn it. There we go. Oh god. Uh, okay. Here, have a circle. You're, you're gonna have to change its size. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, oh, that's god. approximately correct. Silver set. Because now you need three characters. <laughs> yes, I can give silver sight. I mean, the fact Karu's streaming makes this really useful. I know. Yeah. I think it's funny, though. Alright, I think you're good. Thank you. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, I would then like to uh, cower in the corner. Alright. Are, are you taking the hide action? Or... Hog Cloud is in action. Okay. Raptor! Okay, well, my plan has changed a bit because... Fog. Heavily obscured means you're basically blind within it, right? Yep. Hmm... And that's a big thing. I'm gonna leave Raptor right there and uh, ready in action to uh, claw at whatever comes into his square, basically, since they won't be able to see the Raptor in the in the fog cloud. Right. <laughs> basically, first first uh, goblin that comes into range. He's having a bad day. <laughs> yeah. Alright. And Archie, what would you like to do? I am not really sure if I can move. Yeah. I think I am basically useless. Oh, I have a light crossbow, but yeah, I do not have vision right now. Yeah. Huh. All right. Even without the fog. <laughs> yep. I'm just going to concentrate on Luna. And have mm. her move. Okay. Uh, she's got 20 feet of movement if she's walking. So, and she's okay. just out of the fog. Oh, nice. fuck. Okay, that guy looks like business. But, uh... Is he, like, on a platform? Wait, what? Or is that supposed to be a room uh, I'm not supposed to be seeing? Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's a room you're not supposed to be able to see. <laughs> Whoops! That's your uh, answer. No, it's worse than that. It's in fact an area that's entirely out of bounds. I was using for programming. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh... So what am I supposed now to be seeing? Now you know. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's that's just walls. Okay. Um. It yeah. You know, it's like when when you see a like when you see a, a seam in a video game and accidentally see into like the area yeah. inside a building you can't go into. Yeah, that's what you just saw. Okay. Cool. Um. Uh, does this Sorry. go... Does this go... Uh, that's another tunnel. Okay, another tunnel. Okay. Alright. Thank you for the bits. I have OBS open. I don't know who that was. That, that was, was Delphi. Show. 
They All right. Well, one, two, three, four. I count yes, like there's five, a ton six, six, six or seven goblins total. I. Uh, you. You can't get an accurate count because I saw fog. those guys before going into the fog. Because I suppose was that's true. There. But that's why I'm also not sure if it's six or seven. <laughs> Because I didn't count them. But yeah, six or seven total. Um, Amaris, what are you doing in the front? <laughs> That's all Seriously. I can do. Me too. <laughs> Speaking of which, Amaris, what would you like to do in the front? Uh, I'm going to again try and shoot this guy to try and make him stop trying to kill me. Because I don't like this at all. You were disengage. 17 hits. Eight piercing. Oh no. Ah, okay. And then I'm gonna try and shoot because there seems to be a lot of things. I am also gonna spend one of my risk dice, so let me roll a D eight. So I gain six, seven, eight, nine. I gain ten temporary hit points with that. Oh, oh good. This is our first actual combat, isn't it? It mm -hmm. is. Yes. Oh. Yes. We get to see mechanics. <laughs> and Amaris is going to go here and be like, here you go, you have space now. <laughs> Good. That's... I didn't mean to do this. I never meant to do this. Uh, this is what it. happens when you go ahead. Grumble, grumble. Mumble. Yeah. I... Yeah, you didn't think. Just like I didn't think when I cast Shield of Faith instead. Wait, what? Never mind. What does that mean? Don't worry about it. You're the one who brought it up. Oh. Huh. Yeah, there's more. <laughs> well then. Not nice of you to tell me. Well. Am I still at disadvantage? You sure are. Okay. Nope. That was an Oof. eight. Both you times. Miss, unfortunately. That's fine. And then as a bonus That's action. Good. Damn it. Uh... Sorry, I'm in the front now, so <laughs> I'm going to use Shield of Faith on myself instead. Shit. Do you have to recast it? I do. Uh... I probably right. shouldn't then. Eh. Nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna waste the spell slots this this many just for that. Uh, Archie and Amorous, if you could please give me a perception check. Oops. Oh my god, That's Amorous. Not 23. <laughs> That's a natural oh one. So, Amorous Dude. gets a nat 20, Archie gets a nat 1. Amazing. Does, does Luna have any pluses? <laughs> Because uh, uh, I assume it's Luna that you wanted. No, actually, no, nope. It was Archie. Oh. It it's was Archie. Archie. Alright, Luna uh, does not. Amorous, for coming from just below Archie's feet, oh. you, you don't speak Goblin, do you? <gasps> um, no, I don't. You hear loud, confused squark noises. Just like. Archie, get off! Archie, get off! Archie, get off! Can Amherst try and like, get him off? Not your Not turn. You hear, you hear one smack the other. Uh, your turn will come soon enough. Um, and that's that. Uh, Archie, get off that area, please. No, bad. Alright, uh, Dacio, various bad things are happening to you. Um, the okay. goblin chucks his bow off to the side and starts trying to stab you. That's Ashton. Uh, are you talking about That's Ashton. Uh, Asking. I'm you sorry, know. what? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm in the fucking corner. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. Stab. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that's a 20. A 20? That hits, I assume? Mm hmm. It would have hit even with Shield of Faith. Uh, so that's six piercing? Mm hmm. And the other one's gonna try and stab you as well. Nope. Uh, yeah, no, that, that one misses. Mm hmm. Uh. uh oh. You you hear what well, you can speak goblin, so you hear one of them go, "Oh shit, I'm having a hard time stabbing him." <laughs> this is hard around the corner. And, and then Askin will probably reply, "Well, then how about you don't in goblin?" 
you hear a confused squirk. <laughs> it's not a word, it's just squirk. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it's goblin. <laughs> oh, Garm? Yes. It occurs to me, I actually need to see everybody's health. Yeah, me too. Guess who just remembered that they're healer? I am too. Oh, yeah. Someday I will fix... Someday I'll remember to, like, actually do this in every... every... Mm-hmm. thing. Uh-huh. And so, and so, so save it to our... Oh. Um, yeah. I, I will point out that thanks to Roll20's amazing changes to the ro- bars, I can't even see my HP. Well, <laughs> yes, I can't either. Part of that is because they're using the uh, red bar. I don't know where the green and the blue uh-uh. bar would show up. But even they would higher. Show up. Even higher. Yeah. That the is the lowest the bar. It used to be on top of the token, like above, like, within your square, which is why I would use that one. They, oh, uh, Lord. No. they made some changes. <laughs> Garm. All right. Well, you can't see those goblins, but uh... oh god, I, I mean it's <laughs> the fog shifts. Um, I mean, you can shift it. I can. Well, I think it's uh, actually more like uh, Dacio can. Right. All right. Uh, is that all the scrawblins? That's all the scrawblins, yeah. All right, Dacio, it's your turn. All righty. I take it that Amaris did have time, not on her turn, to start screaming, "Stop standing there!" Yeah. All righty. Uh, God. Thank you for the bit show. I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna it in... look at the ground. Is it like soft dirt? Oh, uh, it's the same hard packed dirt as the rest of it. Or basically, where... is there something wrong with it? Uh, or where Archie is? Yeah. Or um, nothing really sticks out. All right. Um, <laughs> that's unfortunate. I'll go soon enough. I'm planning to move anyway. Oh, God. I would like to prepare a spell in case anything shows up. And, uh, Archie, you may or may not want to listen to the tiny child. I don't actually know if they're being useful right now. <laughs> I've been trying to be useful. You've been trying to be useful. You can hear me. That's what I said. <laughs> I had to squish your also, chicken. Amber, if you squish your, my chicken, I will shoot both your kneecaps off. <laughs> it's not like they were doing me good anyway. All right, so you're writing a spell? Yeah. I don't right. have any buttons to push, so. Raptor Coon. <laughs> Raptor Kun is getting impatient because nothing is showing up, but will continue to hold its action in case something comes out of the fog. Alright. Archibald von Archer Kun, what would you like to do? I'm gonna move forward and... Nice bottleneck we have here! I'm gonna take out... Well, I already took out my light crossbow last time, and I'm just gonna shoot at this guy. Okay. You're a disadvantage. <laughs> Not like it matters. It does a 12 hit. Uh, 12. A 12 does not hit. God damn it. What the fuck? These are small people. Oh, yeah. It's like they can't have that high AC. They're goblins. They're All tiny. Right. Well, that's, small, but... that's, that's my turn. Okay. Amorous, what would you like to do? Step back. All right. <laughs> and... Hold my uh, action until I see uh, something dangerous. Well, you've got your entire party around you. <laughs> Someone dangerous yeah. who isn't a friend. Well... <laughs> yeah, okay. Hi. <laughs> I was going to say Dacia straight by. <laughs> uh, Alright. That's game. What about you? Oh, man. I'm gonna do. Oh, I have to actually see something. 
because I don't. I, as a player, really want to do this, but Askin would not. So don't do the thing because it's not in character. Oh, yeah, it's not in character, and he rolled a high enough wisdom save to realize, oh, burning these things alive probably isn't a good idea, even if there's enough of them that he could do it. So he's just gonna try and get try and get these guys to back off. Gonna take a swing at the ones that have been trying to hit him. I know I'm at disadvantage. All right. And be like, we're not here to harm you, but we will defend ourselves. I mean, you're a little bit here to harm them. Uh, that misses. Yeah, I figured. All right. <laughs> Sneaky time. Uh, one's going to run out of the fog right into the vicious claws of Raptor. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Who has been holding his attack. Go, yep. Silver! Oh, 13. Uh, 13 does not uh, hit. Wait, wouldn't it be a 16? Because they were coming from being yeah, blind. Yeah, I'd buy that. Yay. Right into vicious claws of Raptor. Yeah. Oh my, so what? You, uh, so you hear <laughs> it more, and then <laughs> it's fucking dead. Yeah. Toast. Oh my god. Did the other <laughs> goblins hear their ally run forward and then die immediately? <laughs> yes, and this one comes to investigate. Oh, does it also run right into Claws of Raptor? No, because I can uh, only have one Oh, whole one attack. Yeah. Okay, that's unfortunate. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a real tragedy. <laughs> Dude, that is so scary, you maxed dice on that. <laughs> Dust, you're just blood everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Not his. What happened? What happened? Uh, for once. <laughs> oh, this is unwise of them. Uh, Askan, you're getting stabbed again. I know. In in theory. No, I'm not. <laughs> Alright, well that one misses. <laughs> as he... Good lord. Uh, nope. <laughs> Alright, well nothing can hit you. This is awesome. Because uh, of disadvantage. Yup. I mean... Uh, either of those would have missed on the first roll anyway. Yeah. True. Yeah. So is the Nat 1 the one that was around the corner and it just hits the corner instead? Yeah. <laughs> you can Almost hear it, hits like, its friend. You can hear it, like, impale into a chunk of bone in the wall. It's like... Rrr, rrr. Uh, Dossi, what would you like to do? Be horrified. <laughs> that's a free action. <laughs> oh, Alright, that's great. Um... Mm. I don't like this. If I blow wind at the fog, does it disperse or does it move because we're in, in an enclosed area? Um, magic fog, let me go look at the... Mog. Mog. Uh, it lasts for the duration or until a wind of moderate or greater speed disperses it. Can you blow it 10 miles per hour? Yes. Then that would disperse it. I still don't know how it would disperse it with the, you know, Cause enclosed, it's in an enclosed area, area, but okay. I mean, it does go right to the exit, to be fair. Oh, it doesn't? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was not aware of this. <laughs> ah. Yeah, no, you're... It, it uh, hits the edge of the other exit. Mm. Hmm. Hi. Ha. Uh, nah. Don't piss off the raptor. It's just good life advice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I. The raptor killed one thing. I don't know if he killed anything else, though. Do I? Nope. Like. Did I hear anything else attack it after that? Uh, yeah, attack. It could have been, yeah, it can't really attack it because of the way the fog is. He's still um, blind. You, yeah, so yeah blind you may have heard another. You may have heard another blorp noise as. Okay, someone, that's yeah. basically what I wanted to know. Is, yeah. is do I even have like a half-assed guess that there's something else in there? Yeah, I mean, you know, that's a straight hallway. So. Um, would, any attack you make into it's going to be at disadvantage, uh, unless you want to disperse the fog. Oh, okay. Oh. Um. Shit. I 
in the line. Oh, that fucks over the rap raptor. Whoops. Alright, I probably shouldn't do that. Instead, I will try and attack the thing that I can't see. Alright. Uh, this has a range of 30 feet, which should be good or not. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Bitch, heal. Uh, 18. Disadvantage. Yeah. 13. Uh, it misses, unfortunately. Well, I am not listening to Small Child, because that's never a good idea. Yeah. Valid. Uh, Raptor, you have good reason to believe that there is a thing directly in front of you. Oh, By yes. which I mean you can see its sword sticking out of the fog going, what? Uh, I'm gonna claw at it. 16? Oh. Uh, yeah, 16 hits. Rip him. That's 8 slashing. <laughs> Nearly mins the second damage. <laughs> yep. And it's still dead. <laughs> right, That's uh, terrifying. Yeah. Archie, what would you like to do? Archie is going to be less effective and uh, try to shoot again at the one in front of him. Okay. Uh, eight. That's an eight. That does not hit. You know, even if it's a light crossbow, it sucks to use a crossbow in close quarters. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. Uh, that's my turn. All right. Amorous, what would you like to do? I can see nothing. Um, Amorous is going to point to the one area and say, I hear stuff under that. It's weird and dangerous. Don't step on that. And then peek around the corner. Uh, and... You didn't hear anything else after that one bit, just so you oh, know. Okay. Also, the weird stuff is gone now, but it's still weird. Uh, and I can't see anything. Hold attack? Yeah, I'm going to hold my attack until I can see something. Anything that walks over that fog is just fog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, it oh, works. Darn. <laughs> I will let the raptor always attack first, and then take out anything that's left. <laughs> Legit. Alright, ask him. What bad ideas have you formulated? Um, He's gonna look at the group of goblins that he can actually see and be like, I will give you one last chance. Back off, or I will defend myself with lethal force. And he's going to grip his holy symbol and ready a spell. Alright. So if they attack him, they're gonna get it. You see... You and see it's the... a goblin. Alright. Uh, the two in the back here, you see them look at each other and... Uh, the the one closer to you not see the other one, and the other one just fucking skedaddle. Should I have rolled intimidation for that? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, to see how convincing I was. Alrighty. Uh, I don't have disadvantage, so 18. 18? Mm. Yeah, you see this one book as well. The other two were sticking right up close to you. That's unwise, but okay. Indeed. Anyway, they're going to try stabbing you, because they are really convinced that they got this. Nope. Alright, and then the other one? Uh, nope. 17? Really? Really? I have an AC of 18. Fuck Shield. Up. And this one's gonna die to the meat grinder. Uh, Raptor does not have anything prepared. Would he get an opportunity attack if we... If they run into run it? Into his they go into his square. Because he doesn't know the Raptor's there, right? Right. He's blind. Yeah. So he'd run right into Raptor's claws. <laughs> Literally. <Yep. laughs> that poor motherfucker. Oh! oh. <laughs> 25! <laughs> All right. 13 oh, slashing damage. Dead. Dead, dead, He's dead. dead. <laughs> oh. Amorous is watching this in horror. Um, <laughs> so, 
I did say if they didn't stop attacking, I was readying a spell. Mm -hmm. That's true. I... <laughs> yeah. I would like to cast Burning Hands. All right. DC 14 dex save or take 9 fire damage. This is going to go great for them. I mean, DC 14 is uh... not that bad. And the one behind the... Oh! Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to present his holy symbol and be like, I warned you! And they are both dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then Ask and is just going to look at their charred corpses with a little bit of horror. <laughs> A little bit. A lot of it. <laughs> Ow. Sorry. Also, who am I echoing through? That was probably me, honestly. Because <laughs> the owl. I'm wearing headphones. Yeah. Sorry. It's cool. I fixed. Was the other goblin moving forward? Uh. Y they did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, just as long as there's nothing in there's those the... two squares. Correct, yes. And there's right. nothing that Luna can see currently. Good, uh, yeah. Actually, Luna, you did see those two goblins that flee uh, leave oh, for this year? Okay. I couldn't remember how well I actually did that shit. Uh, Alright. Dasi, what would you like to do? The way's clear. Uh, I'd like to unmute myself and rethink my life choices. Yeah. Reaction. That's fair. Adverse reaction. All right. I. Hmm. Okay. I I would have called out the ways clear ahead. Would Dasi have gone in if front? I tap down on the ground? Does it make a different sound where Amorous pointed? Uh, like if I go not... and like take a step. Yeah, it sounds. Uh, yeah, more of a like a slightly higher pitched noise, I guess, or slightly louder, maybe. Huh. As if there's less material behind it. All right, I take a step. A yellow question mark comes over my head as if he could turn a quest into me. <laughs> Step back, and uh, I'm just gonna post this so I don't have to read it all out. Oh dear. Oh dear. So basically, any evocation, cantrip, or mixture I made at the beginning of the day, um, I could have and would because you can't solve everything with fire, apparently. Not true. Well, all right. Yeah. You didn't say that after I burned down a bunch of bandages. Um, yeah, well. Mm. Oh, damage dealt. Damn. I was going to say cure runes is invocation. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, hey, Karm, what can I do for that? No. You can heal things with purifying flame. Duh. Hey, Karm. <laughs> You're not a Justicar. You don't get to do that. I'm sorry. But... Um, so basically, I can make it do instead of whatever I can make it do acid bludgeting, cold fire, lightning, piercing, slashing, or thunder. Right. But, uh... Mm. Do you do damage? I need more damage spells, apparently. Or more things to get Amorous out the hell. Out of the fucking way. Hmm. Um, I'm not doing anything right now. Yet. There's literally a cloud blocking me from doing anything. Oh, good. Then I'm keeping it there. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Also, silver is terrifying and covered in blood. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the way, Archie, you terrified the small child. Good job. Uh. <clears throat> it just ripped apart a goblin in front of me. It's okay. It's up to three now. I know, because I'm keeping all the corpses There's in. There's multiple bodies on the ground. We're in a burial mound. Of course there is. Fresh corpses. 
You don't see the corpses, they're in the fog cloud. I saw parts of them. I can see like three <laughs> arms. Half an right. arm. They're not so, attached. So what's your plan, Dacio? Sorry. I was waiting for Small Child to uh <laughs> be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> also reflavoring Firebolt, because it's an invitation cantrip. And uh I'd like to punch the ground with it. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I couldn't think of anything else. That's a hell of a name. Uh, a hell of a name that we're all just not going to say anything about. Uh, so you punch a hole in the floor and reveal, <laughs> reveal uh, a tunnel going under that area. It basically just dips down right there. How? If I jump, how far... Fr- how far down do I? Uh, about eight feet. How tall am I? You're also uh, a squishy fish boy. I I hate to ask, but how big is the hole a blunt bolt would make? <laughs> I hate you. Oh, um, just assume it's a whole square. Okay, cool. Apparently I fractured one of its foundations. I will look up a fucking Thesaurus for the next turn, alright? Alright. <laughs> you guys suck. Sorry. I think it's great. I'm gonna stick my head down there. Not jump, but uh, do I see anything living down there? Uh, you do not. Is it like a hallway or is it a dead end? It's a hallway. Here, I'll move you. I was going to say, there's not anything close to a dead end, is there? Uh, you can see an intersection. No, I can't. I can't can't see shit. Because walls. Mm, I thought I deleted them. Well, if you did, you didn't oh. delete the lighting. So I may have done two layers of walls there. <laughs> by mistake on the dynamic lighting layer. Good job, Ralph. Thank uh, you. you how go. much of the top am I supposed to be able to see? Uh, just up to your fog cloud. Isn't that on the upper level? Or does that actually go to the next room? Would the fog cloud have I had am... space to get into that area? It goes around corners. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, am, is what I'm saying the room next door or underneath the room? Underneath. Uh, so you shouldn't be able to see quite that much, but... Okay. It, yeah, it just like basically dips down and then back up. So you probably can't actually see much other than the adjacent squares and... Yeah. All right. It is eight feet up. I'm probably not going to be able to clamber back up. So, uh, I'm going to duck, and hopefully that'll be good enough. All right. Uh, is that your turn? Well, now I'm going to look up a thesaurus because you guys suck ass. <laughs> All right. Silver. Silver's going to prepare an action and a roar at whatever else is in that thing to maybe get the fuck out of here instead of run right into its claws. Alright. So, intimidation? Or... I guess. Intimidation is charisma, right? Yes. It is not trained in intimidation, so this is going to be great. It is a tinny roar. The silver was not built to actually make much noise, so... Does it almost sound like a donkey bray? Ah. Amherst is going to look at Archie and be like, if you're going to have him roar, you might want to teach him how to roar. I'm working on it. Okay. I figured making it lethal was more important. It's kind of horrifying. There's a lot of blood. Yeah, Yeah, but that was... Think of it. They probably attributed that sound more to, like, shifting earth than anything else. (laughs) Well... Well, Archie, it is, yes, as you can see, your turn. Uh huh. I'm gonna double move. Oh, good. Great. 
should have sent Luna after them when I saw them run. Welp. Why? Because there's more tunnels and no sign of goblins. Uh, would you be so kind as to give me a perception check? Bloop. 16. Ooh, 16. That's actually not terrible. Uh, Alright. So, just around the corner right here, you can see another tripwire. Oh, good. Uh, and you can see a... I guess a bit of a divot right here, uh, where something has jumped over it, apparently fairly recently. Ooh. While in a rush. Yes. Cool. Alright, good job. Amorous! What would you like to do? I don't want to watch the raptor rip apart more things, so I'm going to go over here and be like, Desia, what do you see? Should we go down there? Yes? No? Just uh, more tunnels. Uh, tunnels forever. Okay, here's the next question. I can't really see Askin. Archie ran forward. Askin is just around the corner. Yeah, but I can barely see him. Uh, I don't want us to split the group this bad, but at the same time, Dastio is... I'm sorry, you don't want to split the group? Me as a player doesn't. <laughs> Amherst is just worried about everyone. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm gonna stay here. If I see anything hostile, I'll attack them, but I I'm helping keep an eye out for Dastio. All right. Uh, the goblin sneaks. Uh, can... what? Nuh uh. Oh shit, sorry. I accidentally skipped. Askan. Askan, yeah. it's, it's, you, it's your turn. Yeah, Askan's gonna call out to Archie as a free action. Don't go too far. And then he's gonna poke his head back around the corner and be like, Do you guys need any help? What's going on? The raptor is killing everything, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then he's just going to be like, well, I guess for now, I'll guard the corner. If anything comes around the corner, I'll hit it. To just ask oh. and actually notice that Dacia is no longer in the hallway anymore. Wait, oh, so there's... he's down below? Wait, yeah, he there's... Down? yeah, he hopped down. Because uh, I uh, said I probably oh, couldn't sh... climb back up. Oh. Shit. So then when Askin comes around the corner, he'll look around and be like, what the fuck happened to Dacio? And then he's gonna look down the hole. Does I've jumped Dacio? down and I can't get up. Great. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Shit. Let me go and... He's gonna have to stop Archie from moving further, so he's gonna have to use the rest of his movement to go back around. And, and he's gonna tell Dacio, please, please be careful. And then... Uh can't believe I'm going to use my second second level spell slot, but he doesn't trust Dacio not to get one shot in. So he's going to cast aid again. So, Dacio, since it's just you, me, and Amorous that I can see, <laughs> we're the ones that get the health. How does it work? Is it temporary? No, it's, it's your maximum hit points increase and your, uh... Max and current. Yep. Five. 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 I have to put it all in temporary hit points at the moment. Four. It's 28. Uh, while he does that, uh, Kurt, could you give me another attack for silver? Okay. Oh, Jesus. 26. And could, you, could you give me the damage? Nine. Duh, duh. Um, that's oh, my raptor. <laughs> the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, please don't do it with the raptor. <laughs> Attack so hard you got dragged off until the corpse pile it pile. It's fine. <laughs> and one more. Oh nope. wait, he. No, he doesn't get another one. So that was his reaction. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wait, that was that his reaction? He was preparing an attack for whatever no, came. he intimidated last. Oh, first. I thought that he prepared an attack and then roared. Intimidate's an action. Okay. 
and Silver's gonna get nope. stabbed near. I don't All think right. that hits. Nope. You are, you are correct. That aid is... Uh, Alright. Dacio, you're in a hole. What would you like to do? Am I also in a bucket? I don't, I don't think so. Alright. Uh, how many doorways are to the north of me that I can see? Uh, just fog. Can you see through the fog? How the hell does the fog no, go Garm, around? Dacio is down below. Right. But the, the rest of the tunnel is level with the rest of the place. Oh. It's just like these... Sorry, uh, let me bring up the old ruler. Pretty much just these three squares here are lower. Hmm. And then this square is... Back to the normal level. Up. You told me it didn't go into the other room. Hmm. Which other room? The north room? The room where all the goblins were? Uh, it goes straight for a bit and then curves. Alright, right, hang on. Oh, so it does go into the... F mm. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. It, the fact you can see fog what? there means that that tunnel is going towards... The no, as a player, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm trying to figure out what... I thought this was an entirely separate level. Yeah, nope. I that's what... so as well. No, it's just like you. Fu it's it's a tunnel that goes below another tunnel. That's it. It's just like this one square that you're currently on is below it. Okay, so it's a connecting tube to the other room. That's yeah. Okay. Sorry, that's my bad. Okay, then it probably doesn't matter if Archie runs off or not. No, it doesn't. At least not that okay. much. Yeah. That's not really splitting the party, then. Uh, that's not the arrow. So, um, if something is marked as a ritual, does it have to be used as a ritual, or can I use it as a spell slot, but then it takes up the spells? Yeah, you yes. can use it as a spell slot, but it uses the spell slot if you do. Yeah. <laughs> They're really beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Basically, all the spells work as spells. If it says ritual, it means it can also be cast as a ritual and not use a spell slot. It just takes right. longer to do that. Um. This will go great, I'm sure. Oh dear. I'd like to cast this as a spell and not as a ritual. Okay. Hey! Got And, uh... Okay. What this? Uh, you have a three-way intersection here. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's some debris over here. Uh, there's a slightly larger room here. Uh, there's... Hold on, I have to adjust the dynamic lighting on that. Uh... On the southern room? No, over here, sorry. Mm. Boop. It's another... Uh, yeah, and then there's a wider room off to your east there with another uh, mm. skeleton body in there. Skeletons are right. Yeah. And then you can see another doorway over this way. Alright, so it's two. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> There's a two by two. Alright. One, two, three, four. Mostly well, so just stirring about with random piles of trash. In this area, at least, where you are now. Uh, Nani? The fuck? What? What's up? Uh, uh, that is a pile of loot. 
That was a good thing my party didn't know where I was. Alright. <laughs> what? That's it. So. Alright. Yes, sir? I, I was looking at the spell aid again. It is not concentration. So I wouldn't have lost it when I cast uh, Shield of Faith. Cool. So the initial casting of it would have still been in effect. Alright. Which means Amorous and Ascan. Already updated. Oh, wait. Yeah. Just Amorous. Yeah, just Amorous. Okay. And so I you updated should update silver. silver. Yep. Alright, uh, Silver. There's a goblin from you. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, it didn't um, die. Oh, right. Just adjusting his HP. Okay, well, I have disadvantage on this, right? Yarp. Uh, that's like a 19. <laughs> yep, that hits. Uh, 8 slashing damage. And you have dismembered your fifth goblin of the day. <laughs> go, go, silver. Silver is the reality. I hold silver here. away. Uh, and you guys are now out of combat. Cool. Oh. So. I hop down to follow Dacio. Uh, <laughs> Askin's gonna real quick just kind of poke around and be like, Archie, get back here. And then he's gonna uh, run back around and hop down after because he doesn't trust those two by them. Uh. Okay. Hi, Dacio. Before Archie goes back to the rest of the party, does he hear anything coming from up or down the corridors? Like, or does it seem like everything has fled that was fleeing? Everything is. Okay, cool. Did I have a chance to wander off and into the other hallway before Amaris jumped down? Yeah, I'll give you a minute. An entire minute. Shit. Well, I'll give you like twelve seconds. Um. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to take a look around there before Amorous catches up, go for it. Uh, you want to give me a perception check? I would love to. Well, Tiny, would you also like to let me do that? <laughs> no? Okay. No. I believe in roll 20. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Uh, All right. I am trying to make sure that she doesn't fucking find me. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Yes, you. Uh, <laughs> Where are the, you? The uh, the the treasure pile there is mostly random crap stolen from villagers. Um, it's like some arbitrary pieces of clothing that would not fit any of these goblins. Uh, there there is some gold, some like various baubles. Uh, give me one sec while I. Briefly roll for something. Just pants. Just left shoes. Just left shoes. <laughs> I have found the answer to life, the universe, and everything in this pile of left <laughs> shoes and pants. <laughs> Garm, while you're looking that up, I am going to leave Luna in the big room with the fire, just in case anyone comes back through the hallways, and just have her alert me if she sees anything. Just so we're not sneaked up on or anything. For sure, for sure. You find the an insignia uh, among all this junk. It's an insignia that you recognize as being from the royal guard. Hmm. It's like a like a um, not a patch of uniform. I guess it's a little too early in terms of time period for that. Um, let's go with a banner. Just, you know, kind of stuffed away with the rest of the treasure, like they don't realize that this may be something important. Uh, aside from that, you find about 40 gold that they've pilfered from various places. Shit, that's actually quite a bit for this little... Yeah, yeah. that's a ton of gold. Uh, do you want me to give you the loot for the rest of the place, like, everywhere while I'm at it? For the other rooms. You've all, 
Yeah, you've already found the other treasure pile. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, three bags of flour, uh, a total of... Shit, where was it? A total of 136 silver, a total of 80 gold, so that's including the 40 from the other one. Um, some weapons and armor from Juladan, which I'm not going to give you value of, because frankly I assume you're going to return them to him, although that's really up to you. We can figure it out if you decide not to. Okay. Um, uh, I'm just worried that he'd give them back to the goblins at this point. That's fair. Um, and could you all give me perception checks real quick here, one last time? Okay. I would probably mutter a quick prayer to my god. Oh, I'm not... I don't have disadvantage. Sorry, I never checked that off. Yeah. And then, uh, just in case. So, 29. Hellish, alright. Ascan, I'm gonna... I wish it was anybody but you. Oh. Um, you find a ring on one of the the, uh, the skeletons. Uh-huh. Uh, it, it looks really nice. It's well... Well made. It's got a nice big old gemstone on it. Uh, what would you like to do? <laughs> you are so lucky Amaris didn't find that. Yeah, I'm... She would want to try it on. It's shiny. I do not want to try it on. I want to put it away for... <laughs> I want to put it away for the moment so that I can examine it more closely later and maybe get somebody who knows a bit more about magic to take a look at it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What is shiny? Oh my god. I typoed when I was writing shiny ring, so it's shiny whiny ring. <laughs> I'm I'm honestly surprised you're taking the ring at all considering it's on a skeleton that was in the burial mound. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. It, it won't the phoenix uh, frown upon that? You're no, great. it's a it's a, uh, it's a deity of life and rebirth. That doesn't change the fact you're technically grave robbing right now. Yep, grave robber. It's finding another birth in Askin's possession, <laughs> and then another birth in a pawn shop somewhere. <laughs> Garm, I have a question. Yes, comrade. Is there anything shiny in these piles? It doesn't have to be valuable; just something shiny. <laughs> Uh, you got a 19 on your perception. It does not have to be valuable at all. I just want shiny. Oh, wow. Uh, I was fucking muted. God damn yeah, it. Yeah. You were <laughs> muted. Uh, well, uh, I don't know how much of white side came through, but... None. Uh, okay, well. Uh, if you know me, you probably know what chart I'm rolling on by this point. Um, yep, but yep. you find a old chess piece made from glass. Ooh. That's definitely shiny. Very yes. shiny, yes. Uh, what piece? You know what? It's going to be a knight. Oh. Ooh. It's a pony! <laughs> I saw that coming. Oh, definitely. <laughs> a glass pony. So cute. <sighs> Do you just then shout out that it is my little pony? No. But I'm just like, I found a glass pony. I can keep it, right? It's shiny. Just make sure there aren't any sharp edges on it. Mm-hmm. Shiny and not in any way cursed. <laughs> Is this flag slash banner that I picked up, does it look like it's been here since we ran off and everything went to shit? Or has it been added to the treasures recently? Uh, it doesn't look like it was something that was originally buried here. Okay. Um... Actually, do you want to give me a history check? Basically, I want to know if is this something that they put there because it 
came with stuff or is it just like here's some junk we don't care about here's it goes in the junk pile uh it's oh wow 19 huh mm -hmm. uh it doesn't look like they had it like had it displayed like it was a particularly important thing although it's goblins so <laughs> they're not Maybe the smartest um like they they might have gotten it from uh, beating another goblin horde or something. Uh, anyway, you do you recognize the insignia? Mm -hmm. um, actually, I'm not sure if it's, if history is the right check for that, but anyway, uh, it's one of the. It's not quite the royal guard, but it's one of the ones that would have been fairly close to the like it's it's from one of the garrisons that would have been fairly close to the capital. Okay. Uh, one, of, one of the ones that would have suffered quite severely in the wake of all of the bullshit. Hmm. Exactly how goblins came into possession of it, you're not sure. But yeah, it's the sort of thing it could be. It could be that uh, its its recovery could be important to the right people. I guess I'll say. I'm gonna fold it up and put it with the forty gold. I right. assume this uh, belongs to the villagers. So I'm not going to pass any of it out. All right. Uh, Damn you, lawful good alignment. <laughs> <laughs> I think the more interesting and pressing question is, why is the blacksmith making these goblins armor? They're not exactly hard to deal with. Uh, sorry, I might have a question. Yes, my friend. If we look around um, for signs of travel... Do we find any footprints that aren't goblins? Uh, or unusually big? Like, something that sticks out? That's a good question. Oh, it's just goblins here. Uh, although, Archie, you would... Oh, you have silver right by the back exit there. Yes. Yes, there is a, there is a back exit that they uh, fled out of. Uh, Dazio... It looks fair like it, it looked like cheap leather. Um some of the weapons do look abnormally new for goblins. Uh some were junk, one or two may have had nicer like goblin sized blades. Uh -huh. Um Yeah, because the big... I Go for Sorry? it. Go ahead. Uh, I assume you guys are looking through like the, the stash of armor and stuff too. Yeah. We're uh, collecting everything, basically. Yeah. My my big question is why is why is he so hell bent on creating all these weapons for a bunch of goblins? Yeah. Archie, can you give me an investigation check? You in particular? Mm -hmm. And Archie is off, so I can't even. Yeah. Eleven. Some of the armor looks a little unusual for goblins, just in terms of, like, proportioning and shape, but you can't really determine much beyond that. Mm -hmm. This doesn't uh, add up. Amorous, be careful. It also doesn't seem like on? they have... I mean, I can... They could be further along. I, I, I went back to the main area, living area, guys. Um, it They didn't have anything here that seemed to be like, hey, we're using this to blackmail the blacksmith into helping us get better weapons. So why is he so hell-bent to the point of not eating to make weapons for a bunch of goblins? Well, Archie... Oh, actually, what did you do back in our original city uh i was just like a, what was your job i was just a tinker i made like small clockwork devices like actual pocket watches and shit like that okay and askin i was a physician okay then you might know this better hmm. what is this and what what is it doing here and I'm going to unfurl the banner. So, Garm, would I yes. have to roll for uh, figuring that out? 
Uh, yeah, sure. History right. check. I do not know. It looks royal military, that's about all you know. Yeah. Okay. I almost said Terran military. That's not right. <laughs> For a number of reasons. This place is small enough. My 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 drone and, and silver have already mapped out the whole place. I have silver watching the back door. We basically dealt with most of them. A couple ran off. I'm kind of worried about where they ran off to, but... Mm. Yeah, we should probably take these back to uh, the guy who was in charge of the uh, weapons and stuff so that we can show him. Yes, I think the yeah. weapons are better off with the uh, ex-adventure if... at the pub. Mm. I also yep. strongly suggest we go to see the uh, blacksmith and question him as to why he's arming a bunch of goblins that could could have hurt the, the village once armed. Uh, and you said that a few of them ran off. I Ooh, maybe. think it might be possibly hmm. we may want to have part of our group split off and check with his brother. If he's in on this, we don't want him ahead to have a heads up. Hmm. Okay. Um, how should we split up? Or should we just uh, send a note to the guy at the pub being like, hey, um, found weapons, blacksmith was arming goblins that how are. How far can your. Moth go with you having sight. <laughs> uh, wherever. Uh, how fast can it fly? Forty feet. We could have your moth go towards his brother's place. We got directions, and at least see if there's, you know, to frantic see if it... non-farm activity. Right. Yeah, or, I can do that. Know, goblins. And then I think we should all go back to the constable. Mm -hmm. This yeah. isn't our town. We'll That's be able true. to carry more that way. Um, yeah, that I'll have I'll tie the the flower things so that they're like around uh, so that uh, silver can carry them, and uh, we'll split the uh, as much armor. I don't think we need to carry everything. They can come back for the rest. We just need evidence basically uh evidence and take as many if all, not all of the weapons so that they can't come yep, back and rearm. They can't come back and rearm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll take we'll take as much as as possible um between the three of us. So Ren mind the trap wire when you leave. Well, I suppose armors can carry a couple things. <laughs> we can try and carry some stuff. Here, have a bag of flour. Hey, Garm. Yes. So, did we see the sled that they brought all the weapons in on anywhere? No, that's true. Um, yeah, it's probably leading up against the corner over here. Okay. Uh, Askin's going to just come gesture to it and be like, we could probably hook that up yeah. to silver and have okay. him. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll hook mm -hmm. it up to silver. Okay. Uh, also, you might want to uh, clean him off. Uh, Atlas has deliberately avoided looking at Silver, I'm just going to point out. Yeah, uh, Askin will look at Silver, his eyes will widen in, in a bit of horror, and <laughs> then he'll glance. Oh man, did Amaris, Amaris had to see the, t the uh, two charred goblin corpses over this way too. Oh yeah. Oops. <laughs> yeah, Askin is like... Uh, uh. Archie's deliberately trying to keep busy and not think of this. <laughs> Right, he, 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 I, I, we're gonna need wa water to clean uh, here silver off. Do you need it now? Yes. Okay. Is I'm it gonna still use... liquid blood? Mm. Yeah. I, it's probably starting to cake by now, but can I just like blow it all off? <laughs> or could I, or could I use shape water to kind of just like whoop it all off? You need water to do that, don't you? Well, I also could create or destroy water. I can do it 
once per day, and I can create up to, like, I think it's two... Well, let me see how long I, much I can do with it. Eh. Second level, oh god. So, 20 gallons of water? 20 gallons of water. Yeah, that would probably be enough to clean off silver. Hey, I can even dry him so it doesn't rust. Yeah. <laughs> or... Or I could shape water to kind of get it off, too. I, I guess we take ten minutes to clean the gore off. <laughs> well, I don't think it'll be very nice if we go into this town that we've only seen for five minutes covered in blood. <laughs> They're going to yeah. think we killed the blacksmith. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, so just... And it doesn't take ten minutes to do it. If I create or destroy it... Where did that it. little shit go? Ah, Amaris! <laughs> Out the front door. I saw her walking this way, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. I did, too. Is the cloud still there, by the way, or did you blow it? I'd have blown it away with the, the raptor. Mm -hmm. How long does that last? Up to a minute. So. Okay, so oh. it's gone. Oh, it's yeah, gone. it would be gone. Yes. Amorous. <laughs> all right, so we here, clean the, 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 the raptor, hook up the... I think we all have enough rope to, to deal with that, and we'll... Hook up the Get thing and send them off. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, I'll send moth the moth off before we even start doing that, because I oh, want to get... Okay. So yeah. the moth is going towards the blacksmith's brother's, brother's place. Did I All know right, where uh, that was? Uh, we were told. Okay. Yeah, I think... Were you told exactly where it was, or just somewhere outside of town? Um, we Aren't were pointed... Oh, wait, yeah. hang on. So, yeah. the burial mound that glows blue at night was south of the town, and... Julian's brother was about a kilometer north of town. Okay. Okay, so I'll right. send I'll send the the moth that way. We'll clean the raptor and then head back to town. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can you give me a perception check for the moth? Oof! This is gonna suck because it's not. Well, trained. I was gonna say I could totally guidance mm. it on its way because that lasts a minute. I think it's gonna take it more than a minute to get a kilometer away. Yeah. Uh, perception is wisdom. Yep. Twelve. Alright. Well, you can see the broad side of the barn. <laughs> Wrong down. Uh. Uh. Oh, sorry. Um. Just one sec. Let me fix that for you, uh, Amber. It's another one of those. Great. Yeah. Um, so, moth. Uh, the moth, as, as you're flying along, you notice that there's um, packed down grass coming out the back of the uh, the, the burial mound. Mm -hmm. It's not headed to the north. Oh. Where is it heading? Uh, it is headed to the west. West of town? Or uh, west of yes. the burial mound. Both. Okay. So if we're to the south of town, it's going kind of west, northwest? Pretty much straight west. Oh, from the burial mound. Is that where the, the blacksmith was? No. No. Hmm. Do we know the what's west? Was north of us, I believe. Mm -hmm. Do we know what's uh, west? Not a whole heck of a lot. Just, uh woods mostly following it into the woods it's not gonna okay there um i'll let the others know that it doesn't seem like the well they would have had to go west if no but then they would have been northwest i'll load the tracks we'd rather fight figure out where they're going yeah uh -huh. i'll have the drone follow the tracks as much as possible i know it's probably gonna lose it pretty fast yeah uh, what's the range on it? <laughs> it doesn't really have a range. Alright. It's horrifying. Yeah. Do you want to give me a survival check for tracking it? Yeah, the problem is it's not very useful otherwise. It just, it can kind of see what's obvious. It doesn't have yeah. much stats. Uh, survival is wisdom again? Wisdom. Uh, yeah. And now oh, one! No. <laughs> you fly into a tree. Splat. Yeah, uh, lost the tracks pretty yeah. quick. Yeah. 
So as soon as soon as it hits the, the forest, it's like yeah, it's yeah. It's a dr- it's it's a surveillance drone. It does not have good great stats, even for looking around. <laughs> I need to somehow oh. up, upgrade its <laughs> perception. So we're taking this stuff up to the village and following, then following where the goblins went. Yep, I, I think we it lost got the goblins. Well, yes, but if we have reinforcements, we'll at least be able to tell them which way to go. Yeah, that's true. And if you guys tried following those tracks, you'd probably have a better shot. Mm-hmm. That's true. Maybe. The thing is, if we want to follow those tracks, we want to follow it now before the trail goes cold. You could just send Silver with the note to town, mm. and then Silver can catch up with us. We could. You Want know, you know what's horrifying. Silver supposedly has the same languages as I do, which apparently means it can talk. Okay, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> fucking blood-covered raptors walks up like, oh, uh, no, 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 it's no, clean. No. We cleaned it. We cleaned I it. Mean, could... If you can see through its eyes, does that mean you can speak through it? Uh. No, I'm just looking at it again. It's uh, it can communicate with me telepathically and can understand oh. what languages you speak. It cannot speak. That's okay. unfortunate. All right. uh, should we go on break while you guys decide what to do? Yeah. 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 That sounds yeah. good. Right. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Uh, and if you enjoy what we do here and would like to support us, you can either uh, you can support us on Patreon at patreon.com/midgardia. She gets you a bunch of cool shit, like at a high enough level an invite to our server or a discount on Carter's art. I think a display picture is also one of them. She makes really nice art. Look at these tokens. These were all done by her. Mm-hmm. Uh, you you can get also a free token us... at, at, uh, at one of the levels, yeah. That's what it is, yeah. Uh, you can also support us by subscribing to us on twitch.tv slash midgardia for a mere $5 a month. That's American. Uh, or if you have... Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch account and you get a free one of those every month. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Alright, we'll be right back. Hello! I'm still Garnbreak1, all the same people are with me. Uh, what conclusion did you guys come to? Uh, that the paint job on your thing had nothing to do with our session. <laughs> Um, that's true. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, really, that's what you're gonna lead off with? Yeah, Kamaru. Um, my ghost, my my ghost figure. She's talking about my ghost figure from Destiny Two. Just so we're all real clear on that. Mm-hmm. That's what she means by thing. I mean, I could have been yeah. talking about the tavern. It does sure, seem to need a paint job. Sure. You're right. That's what you're getting money for. Hey, anyway. <laughs> that's so, true. Well, and to renovate it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. we have two main things we want to do. One is go talk to the guy at the bar. The other one is to confront the ba- blacksmith. Which one do we want to do first? Do we want to talk to the guy at the bar? Or do we want to just talk to, you know, the guy in charge of the town? Because that, that was. was not the guy at the bar. I thought that was. Because he was nope. the adventurer who... No, because that's why when we were all at the blacksmith and Amaris snuck off, that's why I went back to the tavern to tell him so he could go tell the constable. Oh, oh, yeah. That's true. You know, him not being the constable. Mm-hmm. Okay, do we want to go to the constable then? Like, do we want to involve the local law? Yes, in... because it is it's not theirs. our... It's not our town. Yeah. If we go to confront the blacksmith without the constable's approval, it could get hairy for us. Yeah, like, what right do we have to do that? That's fair. All right. Oh, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely don't. All right. To the constable, it is then. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, Freaking lost Good character. <laughs> and you're not sending anything after the tracks. No. Okay. Oh well, yeah. We tried to send the drone, but you know. With that was our other option going after the t- tracks first. But that would again be hey, uh, we'll take care of it and then tell them later. Yeah, the which is the adventure for, way. 
forgiveness as opposed to permission. Mm -hmm. It might be the adventurer way, but we are not really adventurers. Yeah, yeah. It would be a You're survival working. check to follow the tracks. Mm -hmm. We don't really have any survival people in the party. I mean, I've got a plus four bonus to it, but I'm not even trained. Because I was going to suggest maybe we can send, say, Askin and Amaris see if they can, how far they can track that tracks while Dacio, Archie, and Silver go catch the constable up to what's happening? I mean, I guess. But at the same time, we should probably have Luna come with uh, Oh yes, Luna's coming Amaris with you. And, yep. And Askin is going to look at Amaris and be like, if we do this, you cannot wander off on your own. I'm gonna say that if you guys go back to town, can you please go check on the blacksmith, or at least go by his home to make sure no goblins are there trying to kill him, because we ended up with the kill. Please. We'll, we'll deal with him. Uh, the only goblins that escaped us did not go towards the blacksmith, so he's fine for now. As far as you can tell, they only went so far. They well, if your moth lost track of the tracks, make it go to the blacksmith then. But then... I still wouldn't... want to follow the goblins, I'm just saying, please go check on the blacksmith when you go to the village. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm still sending the moth with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll check on the blacksmith. Because we... I mean, we're gonna go to the blacksmith as soon as we get the constable involved in this, so... Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll handle constable talk first, and then switch uh, back to... Tracking goblins? One. I was gonna say, it occurs to us, I don't think we know how to find the constable. It's in the want... I was gonna say, either that or one of us can wait at the blacksmith's while the rest of us find the constable. <laughs> but... Uh, it's. You said it's, that uh, the bar was like basically the only place that anything happened that, aside and the, from the, and town, the hall. town hall. Yeah. yeah. We'll do it's, that if he's not in either of those places. I guess mm -hmm. then never mind. It's a small town. Your your basic method to find the constable will be to like look at a guy and go, "Hey, do you know where the constable is?" And he'd be like, "Yeah, like two feet that way." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right then. All right. So we split up. Hey, what could ever go wrong? We're not adventurers. We don't know the rules. <laughs> I'd do it anyway. I'd do what I want. It's true. Um, all right. So you guys find the constable incredibly easily. He's he's just kind of hanging out in the town hall at his like little desk. Mm -hmm. Um, the have you guys been here before? I don't. Remember. No, we did not go to the town hall. All right. Uh, so, the town hall is basically the... If it wasn't for the tavern, this would be the community center. Um, this is, you know, where people get married. Uh, it's it's fortified a bit um, in cases of, like, horrible crisis, like, be that weather or some kind of conflict. This is obviously the place where they'd uh, hold out. Like, you can see uh, stuff to barricade the doors um, in place pretty quickly. and stuff like that. Yeah, um, as you go in, you can see two small, like, they're a little more than closets behind the desk, but, like, they're obviously uh, the closest thing that they have to cells, which don't look like they get used very often. <laughs> um, you can see, wood, like, wooden shields with various paint jobs uh, along the walls as well. Um, you know, militia equipment on display. Uh, and sitting at the desk is a male human with a bleh, reasonably shiny badge and a nice hat. Nice hat. Ah, thank you. Hello, you must be the the um, travelers that came into town the other day. However could you tell? Well, there aren't that many uh, new people that... Uh, yes, sarcasm. <laughs> uh, I'm grin. Possible... Pointy grin. <laughs> I am Constable Jarek Will. Uh, how many of you have assistants? Well, 
you see we were asked by one of the blacksmith's friends to check up on him and we found some disturbing things oh uh Julian has been acting quite strangely lately what what did you find would you like to show him one of the recovered items archie sure i'll uh i'll pull out one of the swords and put it on his desk this was found yeah. under the burial mound in the possession of goblins. Do you I... see his eyebrows raise high enough that they go under the brim of a hat? <laughs> Sorry. And as you put the weapon down, I'm going to put the folded banner with the signal. Sigil. Emblem. Pointed up. This if... was among their possession as well. Well, that is quite concerning for a number of reasons. You see him try to pick up the, the sword and immediately realize that he can only get, like, two fingers uh, on the hilt. As opposed to, you know, all of them. Yeah. Um, it might even be a two-hander for a goblin, you don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, and he looks at the insignia for a moment, and you see him, like, pull a book out of his desk and start flipping through. Uh, I didn't think to figure out the name of the division that's from. Uh, but he he says it's from a, a town whose name that you recognize, one that was not too far from your own. Um, basically the, the guard regiment for that area. Mm -hmm. Um... It's it's strange that this would be in the possession of goblins. It's certainly not something that should be around here. It's uh, possible they found it on a raid and just found it pretty and stole it. It would mean they've been traveling for a bit if they come from that area. Indeed. And you said that they were in the burial mound of all places. They've they've constructed a warren, and that would have taken some time, so they've been here for a while. And for some reason, your blacksmith seems hell-bent on giving them enough weapons to siege the whole town. To be fair, he does not seem happy about it. There is he that. has not yeah. eaten for quite some time, and he's not looking well. He is not happily doing this. Not that we can tell. Yes, I... Juladan loves this place. I, I can't see him uh, attempting to engineer its downfall. And he, he's like pacing back and forth behind the desk as he's talking to you, you know, holding his chin in his hand. We did not find anything in the burial mound, however, to link it to blackmail. So whatever's going on that made Juladan want to do this, or have to do this, it might involve more goblins than what we saw there. Indeed. Perhaps it's magical compulsion of some kind. There were no magic users among the goblins we fought. He furrows his brow. Hmm. Troubling. To be fair, they might have been a vanguard. It was maybe half a dozen, and there's definitely more weapons here than they needed. So it could be a larger force staging somewhere outside of town. We sent. Speaking of which. Yeah. yeah, we sent two of our friends to follow the tracks of two that managed to escape us. We're not sure if we'll be able to follow it very far, but if they find anything, um, I have a drone that will let me know. They went west of the mound. Is there anything in that direction? Uh, he he stops and thinks for a moment. Uh, you see him, like, consult a, a map off to the side. There is... I believe there's a cave network uh, oh, about 20 kilometers that way. You used to, it used to have owlbears in it, along with some other nefarious beasts. We tend to stay well away from there because of that. Uh, I'm sure you've met uh, Shiva no, for a second. The, the tavern or yeah. name now escaped. The... Yours. Yes. Oh, Yoris Kemza? Yoris Kemza, yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you've met Yoris. And... Mm, well. Yes. Yeah, Yoris. Or is it the large cave system? <laughs> Indeed. 
That's probably where they are then. Or at the very least there's probably more weapons there. Yeah. I'm afraid. Sorry. They may have been using the burial mound to hold the weapons and then send them that way. That sounds quite likely. Uh, I'm afraid our militia would not be much help attempting to take that cave system. We could we could pay you for your troubles if you were to uh, help deal with this problem. I think the four of us is barely more of an army than whatever militia you have, but if we can find who's controlling these goblins, maybe we can at least scatter them enough so that they won't be a bigger threat to the area. Indeed. And before I forget, this was also amongst the goblins horde. I'm not sure if it belonged to the blacksmith or the town at large, if you'd had anything going missing. But uh, I think I was carrying 40 of the gold. Yep. I don't know who had the other. 40. I have the rest. So I will present him with a sack of uh, uh, clinking coins. God damn it, Archie's also lawful good. He'll take out the other 40 gold and put it on yeah, the I table. know, right? <laughs> Fuck, we're never gonna make money. You're too good. I was gonna take it all and not leave any for you guys and like screw you party, but no, I had to be lawful good. Now I can't even keep any of it. Get wrecked. 80 gold on Maybe the table. Maybe that will be the reward. Uh, you see him uh, like looking through it and counting it off in his head and goes, that's... Hmm. Uh, Mr. Baird, the owner of the general store, had been complaining that some of his gold had gone missing. I thought he was... Well, I thought he miscounted, but it looks like that may not be the case. Thank you for turning this in. I'll be sure to mention to him who, who retrieved it. Thanks. We will... We'd like to have a good relationship with people in this town. We're gonna need it if we want to start our own town nearby. Indeed. Uh, I heard from, from Yoris that you were from... Uh, a, a town that was setting up just yeah a little more than a tent away. city right now but we'll yes. we're looking for supplies and stuff so we're probably going to be uh, needing all the help we can get yeah you were you were affected by the you were displaced by the uh, the unpleasantness weren't you yeah I'm quite sorry to hear that I, I hope that we'll be able to form a very beneficial partnership I'm sure we have a good little community a lot of helpful people Uh, out of character, do any of you use swords? I don't remember. I have a scimitar. Uh, uh, I can use swords. I have my pimped out warhammer, however. Yeah. I can use simple weapons, but... And martial weapons, actually, but I shoot things. Yeah, but nobody's gonna give you one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you okay. guys gave me a freaking gun, and I'm gonna point I out... I didn't. That were None of us gave it to you. Uh, Askan, do you have proficiency in shields? I I have a shield, actually. You do. So, yes. <laughs> That's why his AC is so high. Mm -hmm. Right. Because it's shield plus breastplate. What? Alright. Um. Alright, uh, you see... You see Jarek think for a moment, and he says... Oh, just wait one moment. I have something that I could that I could give you as a as an advance, let's say, to help you with this uh, dealing with this problem for us. And he lend us. <laughs> well, no, as an advance, it would be part of your payment, yeah. most likely. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're not you're not there. Asking. Oh, I know I'm not. <laughs> um, and you see him like duck down under the under the desk and you hear something you hear the the sound of a, a lock being unlocked and the the creak of wood and uh 
he pops back up holding an unusual sword uh, in, in a very ornate sheath. The ah, shit, uh, the guard. It's called a guard. The guard of it looks has a um, is is gold with like wing. It, it, it's a very stylized guard that looks like wings. And he uh, hands it over to uh, whichever you is willing, to, whichever of you is willing to take it. I'll grab it. I was gonna say you were the one talking to him, so you're probably closer. I also look like yeah. I'm a yeah. You look like kind. the one who can pick it off. Yeah. <laughs> Here, uh, Yoris found this in a well among his adventures deep in a, deep in an Asimar ruin. He believes it to be of Asimar origin. Ooh. This is. Very old, uh, but he, he he used to consider it a good luck charm and handed it over to us so that he'd not be tempted to go out on more reckless adventures. <laughs> Is it a short sword or a long sword? Oh, uh, yes. Which one's more helpful to you? <laughs> Probably short. I, mean, uh, I, mean, I don't. Well, I don't know who's going to take the sword. Yeah, period, that's my so. point. If oh wait, short sword is also martial, so Dacio would not have is proficiency. It? Yeah, that's what I was checking. I didn't think so. Short sword isn't martial. According to the SRD, subtype martial weapon. Really? I thought it was a simple. Short sword martial. Yeah. Oh, weird. In that case, huh. then it doesn't really make much difference. Long sword does more damage, and both are. But martial. it's also short sword is also finesse. Hmm, which uses yeah. or can yes. use dex. Yeah. Yep. Which is useful. Which sounds more up the Asimari alley, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. so short sword. Okay. Um, I mean, honestly, we could give it to Amaris. <laughs> Does she need another one? She doesn't have a melee weapon. I don't either, and I'm not complaining. <laughs> yeah, but she can use a sword. I've taught her a couple things. <laughs> I can use swords. It's not that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. We already gave her a gun and we regret this. <laughs> Two guns. Two guns. Two guns! <laughs> yeah. And she got she nearly got hurt back there. Yes, so let's give her a sword so she can go into close combat. Yeah. I'm not saying make her go into co close combat. I'm saying if combat comes to her, she has something that doesn't necessarily boom and alert the whole so, place. Let's not give her one of these nice, you know, kobold size swords that we've been fine lying around. Oh, that's that's true. Because I just that's... like to point out they were her size. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that sword is not her size. No, but it's a short sword. She can still use it. If I'm not mistaken, the the, uh -huh. the thing is she has to use it double uh, double handed instead of single handed. <laughs> what is your strength or dex? Uh dex is actually my attacking, and once I level, it's gonna be a sixteen. Ha! Huh. Kurt. He just gave us a Seraph sword. <laughs> oh, God, I can kind of imagine that that's more like a, a T-shaped guard. Like, maybe with the wings pointed the ah. other way. But, Hold on. Yeah. Alright. Anyway, whichever person you end up giving it to. Yeah, I'll take it for now. I'll put it on my belt. Thanks. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, we'll go... We'll go check out the caves. I suggest you go talk to and check on the blacksmith. If we've routed these goblins, they may be coming for the blacksmith. Hi. Alright. Well, uh, meanwhile, Amaris and Ask can get into horrible trouble. Yup. Oh, Alright, so, so uh, while the others head back to town, uh, you guys are going to attempt to track the tracks? Mm -hmm. Yep. Great. I'm so totally which one of you... Hmm? Sir? Uh, regardless, I'm just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> huh. Hi. Mm -hmm. oh, that didn't work. Oh, wisdom is one of my key stats. 
Okay, I'll aid you in the survival. Okay, chain. and I'm totally asking my god for help. Uh, I can at least aid him. I yeah, say, no. How is your god not annoyed with you by this point? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you use guidance a lot. Yeah. The aid is fine. I don't think you're gonna get away with Phoenix shit on this, especially because you were just like fucking fighting inside a gravesite. Okay. <laughs> Twenty survival. Holy shit! Yeah. Um. All right. You successfully managed to track those tracks, and boy, they go on a wide. Mm-hmm. Almost 20 kilometers, you think? Yeah, about 20 kilometers. How convenient! Fancy that. Uh, it's, it's, it's truly amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can cool. just keep moving. It's about a day's worth of travel. Oh. Ah. Would you we guys... wouldn't. Yeah. We wouldn't go that far. Yeah. We, we'd go until we were pretty certain of pretty much where it was going. Well, there's another option. Hmm. What time is it, Gar? Uh, I believe you headed there in the afternoon. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so we probably... went to see the blacksmith, and then we followed them. So right. we didn't see him at like you know dusk. Do... <laughs> yeah, it's... Do we yeah. know if Luna can only uh show Archie what? She sees, or can he hear what she sees? She, what do you think you mean? Um, I don't have exactly, like, I have telepathic communication with Luna. Luna can tell me what she sees. Can Luna read? C Luna cannot read. Really? Damn it. Here goes my plan. I was just going to write a note to Luna and tell Luna to send that message to you. You can what? talk to Luna, and Luna can relay that message. Oh, okay. We well, once we know the direction, Luna's with us, that means Archie can find us. Why don't we make camp, like, around here? Luna can tell Archie that, hey, it's pretty far away and we don't want to go too far from you guys. But we have a camp set up and we know which way to go, so once you're done, you could come here. And if it's going bad and we need to go back to where you guys are, start sending Luna back, that'll be a sign of, we need to follow Luna. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Sounds about right. So the big question is, can Archie and Dacio find your camp? <laughs> you know I... where Luna is, therefore... Uh, yeah, that's Do actually I... a good point. I, I mean, so. yeah, you should be, at minimum, if you start getting lost, just tell Luna to come towards you, and Luna can lead you there. And hit every tree between you and Luna. Yes. <laughs> you Making might have nice... to repair her. And that and makes a, a nice easy path for you to trace back. <laughs> easy. Uh, I was going to say, uh, as they were going, Askim might have made a little, a few burn marks here and there. Those poor trees! Why are you doing that? Did I say that those burn marks had to be on the trees? Poor plants, then! <laughs> or the plants! What are you gonna burn, then? Yeah, I don't think Apparently I- Apparently goblins! <laughs> I'm not thinking about that! Oh, too soon, far Sorry, too soon. Car. I don't think I can actually tell where Luna is. I can just see what she sees, basically. Mm. But yeah, I probably would have marked our path. Um, technically this is the text that I have for it. So it's not that I know where it is, I just know what it tells me through the telepathic bond I have with it. But we can right. leave a path for you, mm -hmm. thanks to yeah. mm -hmm. asking burning random shit. Shush. What? That's what you're doing. I mean, it's more or less like making little charcoal marks. I'm not actually like setting things on fire or anything. Yeah, but you're still burning stuff. Ash. Still well, once again, stuff. gratuitous applications of fire save the day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. But we'll wait to see if Luna signals to us that we should head back to town, but we can start setting up a possible camp here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Archie, oh, well. would, Archie would have heard immediately as soon as you guys convey via the moth what's going on. So we'd he start heading out towards you guys. Check! Yeah, check on the. I'll check. I, 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 
We sent uh, the constable I just, there. I imagine. Like, please. I imagine that Amorous like tries to send all of this through interpretive dance first. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And she probably also does this out of boredom. Yo. <laughs> she's talking what she wants to say, but also dancing and. and, and... Yes. Yeah. She's like making H check mark and then like miming hammering um, a sword. <laughs> Also, check on the blacksmith you promised. <sighs> okay, well... We... Which is which is pointing at Luna and then making the pinky swear, like, <laughs> gesture. <laughs> we unhitch and leave the flower and all the other evidence for the constable from Silver. Alright. And we'll check on the blacksmith on the way out of town. Alright. Uh, you can see that once more there is smoke billowing out the top of the the forge building. Uh, the the sounds of metallic hammering. Uh, you know what? I'm nothing. Go on. Sorry? No. I'm 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 a bit more distraught after what happened under the mound, and a bit pissed off about what's going on and the dangers that this is putting all our, our whole group in. Because now we have to go fight goblins more. Um, so I'm just gonna stomp right into the place where he's working. Is he still okay. working? Yes. Oh, is he? I'm... Sorry? I'm... Oh, is he? He's got the fire, uh, going and everything, right? Yep. It's yeah. loud, it's hot. Well, I know how to quiet this down. What's he working on? Does it look like goblin sized? Yeah. How about you don't? Whoosh. How about you don't? He turns and looks at you and he looks not even angry, just distraught. He goes, what are you doing here? Why are you working for the goblins? Do you think I want to be? I am asking you why, so that we can solve your issue. You shouldn't be here. We're already, be. we're already knee-deep in this. We've already killed goblins. You what? Yes! He, <laughs> he drops the hammer and tongs, and he... He's going to try and grab you by the shoulders. Uh... He's going to be needing to succeed. In, uh, if you start your turn in the line of gust of wind, you need to succeed on a strength saving throw or be pushed 15 feet away. And for every two feet of move, uh, every foot it wants to move closer to us, he has to spend two feet. Hellish. Okay. <laughs> Whoosh. Well, that's a seven. So he tries to move forward and basically well, falls back. Yeah. He gets pushed and then he just has to like keep moving forward to not keep getting pushed back. <laughs> All right. Uh, can he get close enough to you then? Yeah, it just takes him a while. So All we right. could theoretically walk backwards and outpace him, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, well, he's going to storm towards you and try and grapple you then. All right. That's a 12. Oh, yeah. Uh, that doesn't even hit me. Fuck. Um, that was a seven? He's grappled. Yup. I, I guess I'm more worried about trying to get information out of him than stopping him from grap grappling me. I just stand my ground and just stare at him and go, Listen, you better tell us what's going on. If they see you here... Oh God, you said you killed them. They're going to destroy the entire town. Who is they? Who are they working for? What is going on? I already have two of my people halfway to their main base. I need to know what you're... What you know. Your problem is going to get either this group killed or your entire town unless you say something. Start talking. The, 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 the goblins told me that if I don't do what they want, they're going to destroy the entire town. Everybody, everything here. 
Why do you they believe told them? them? They are quite flammable. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, we've killed about a dozen today. How many more are there? Ah, yes, just working. counting on his finger. I've been working for them for months. So I've never seen the same goblin twice to pick things up. There are a lot of them. Probably dozens. More than enough to destroy this town. Have they said who who their boss is? Is it another goblin? Is it something bigger? They think it's another goblin? Are there know, still really owlbears? I... I'm not sure. Why out, out by the caves is where they normally are. Yeah, well that's oh, apparently right. where the goblins are now. Or at least where they're going. That would make sense. It's either they took down the the, the owl bears or the owl bears are now working with them, which I'm hoping they took down the owl bears. Uh, Does gonna... this guy have any simple weapons in his shop that I can borrow? Um, probably, but at this point he's gonna like go over at his shoulders and he just looks distraught. Scared. Yeah, like, you can actually see tears welling up in his eyes. Because as far as he is concerned, everything is fucked now. <laughs> I mean, it was fucked before. Four yeah. random chumps showed up and ruined everything. Listen, yep. if you thought they weren't yeah. going to attack and obliterate the town the moment you made enough weapons for them, you are more naive than I thought. They were just biding time and ma making use of your weapons, and then your own weapons were going to kill your people. I don't know how you're going to live with that. But in the meantime, you might want to let the constable know he's probably on his way here anyways, and get the rest of the town into the town hall, just in case we cannot stop them. I suppose there's not much else to do. How can he be burly AF if he hasn't eaten in forever? How does he even still have muscle in us at this point? I mean, he said, what, a couple weeks? I thought he said months. a couple months. months. Yes, months. going on for months. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh... that's definitely time to uh, lose muscle mass if you're not doing anything but working yourself to the bone in a smithy. I don't know, man. Maybe he cooks eggs on the forge. <laughs> And he probably eats at least once a day before going to bed. But yes. Shoves an entire unhusked corn cob in his mouth and calls it good. <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> um, that doesn't even chew it. That, that wastes effort. Okay, you can push, drag, or lift a weight twice your carrying capacity. How much does an average... Wait, he was a human, right? Yarp. 30 times your strength score, huh? I mean, I, I'm at 165 pounds. You All right. You. What you gonna do? Small nuisance of a human. <laughs> Come on, you. If you're going to freak out that the whole place is going down, you get to tell the constable. If he's on his way, then this will at least make my trip shorter. You don't have to carry him the whole way there, Dossier. Yes, well, he doesn't have to keep making weapons either, but, you know, here we are. I, I think we can let him go, and he knows what he has to do. He knew what he had to do months ago, and he didn't do that. We can't fight the goblins. There's too many of them. Yes, yes. We you can, can tell the kind of nice constable when we get there. No, send him to the constable. We need to get to the goblins before they muster. Because if they've mustered, then there's no chance we can have to stop them. I'll go myself. I'll tell them everything. Good. Pat, pat. My failures. That way we can figure out how to stop a <laughs> goblin army from overrunning the town. I suspect you, you it'll... You making quotes. 
army. <laughs> I suspect he does not believe there's an army. <laughs> I suspect it might involve lots of explosives. Uh, let's go, Dacio. What? That was adorable. <laughs> so you guys are headed off to meet up with uh, the rest of your party? Yep. Yep. Well, down tries to barricade itself from the oncoming goblin horde. Yep. Alright. Well. Getting goblin. Uh, what was it called? Goblin Slayer vibes here. Yeah, alright. <laughs> as long as there's no all goblin right, well... king, we're good. I wasn't told that I couldn't kill him with fire or water or acid. That's true. So, uh, one thing I didn't mention in the description of goblins, because I am not great at this, um, they all do have a red mark on one shoulder. Oh, good. That's kind of important. Like, painted? Um, more like scarred. Hmm. Shit. Great. Wait. Color our goblin skin green. 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 Why would it be red? Uh -huh. Shit, I don't know goblins. <laughs> it would be might, a lighter green. It might be scar. a part of tattoo, maybe. Yeah, it might be a tattoo. Like, it's not necessarily a brand you're saying, it's more like a mark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But so it's it, still permanent. Yeah. Okay. So it's not like paint, it's more like tattoo. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of important. Sorry. I'm sorry. Right. So we make it to the other group probably by the time it's dark because we've been doing a lot of shit. Indeed. And <laughs> well, since you guys will probably be spending the well, I don't know if you guys are gonna spend the night, but uh <sighs> It is about 8 p.m., yep. which Jeez. means it's about the end of our session. Yep. So you're all, yeah. We'll we'll see how that goes for you guys. <laughs> uh, we should totally set up traps. Yeah. Have we gotten back to the other group yet before we end, or are we on? Our yeah. Way? Yeah. I'm not gonna make you roll for it. You can get back to them. Okay. Just so I know where we start off next time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, before we uh, end for the night, I will ask you guys to figure out who's going to be taking watch before the next session. Uh, I can take at least one watch. Alright. Considering the fact I have dark vision, I could do the one where it's the darkest out. I mean... Um, can, um, can the raptor watch the raptor doesn't by itself dark... and wake you up? The raptor doesn't have night vision, but Luna mm. does. Can Luna do it without disturbing you? Yep. Provided that nothing happens. Yep, I can basically command the drone to wake us if something happens. But otherwise, okay. And it has 60 feet of dark vision, so... Okay. I unfortunately do not have dark vision, so, so I can take a... The only issue is Luna's not great at perception. Okay. Well, neither are we if we can't have dark vision. I'm trained in perception and I have dark vision. I would say Luna for the first half, we're probably not expecting much to happen, and then have Amaris take a wake up and... When something could happen. When something could happen, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Sounds like a plan. Alright, well, uh, thanks for joining me for this, guys. Uh, as ever, I appreciate it. Uh... Haru, do you want to make the announcement about an upcoming event that's happening in yes. March to start showing? Um, yeah, so something cool is happening in March. On March 17th, we're going to have a star... no, space? Spaceships and Star Worms. Spaceships and Star Worms. Special uh, one-shot. Uh, it's a collaboration event with the writers of Spaceships and Star Worms. I always get it the other way around, sorry. Um, they've written a module special for us. Uh, we have maps are being made with the help of Gabriel Picard and his awesome maps that we've used so often on the stream. 
Um, and we're going to have a special guest, uh, Mark Meir is joining us during this, and it will be a charity event in uh, benefiting um, Forging Heroes. Well, hell yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit Forging about Forging Heroes Society? Society? Forging Heroes Society. Forging Heroes Society is a local group to uh, a lot of us in, the, in here uh, from Edmonton that brings tabletop to schools, um, basically supplying the schools with enough starting equipment to have D&D clubs at the different schools. So we'll cool. have that. We also have ice cream dice that we've spoken about uh, in the past. Uh, they're having a Kickstarter. They will also be sponsoring this. We'll, we'll have uh, a couple of sets to give away during the stream. Um, how many sets we give away is probably going to be dependent on how much is raised for Forging Heroes. So, yeah. And Mark, the designer of the dice, the founder of Forging Heroes is also going to be playing with us. So, yeah. <laughs> Lots going on. Um, I'll be DMing and um, I can't wait to see what shenanigans happen on that day. So, again, March 17th will be that special day. Um, there is information on our Twitter um, at Midgardia RPG. So, spread the word. Get as many people watching us as possible and that would be great yeah that sounds like a hell of a time yep um Thanks. speaking of sunday games we will not be having a stream sunday game this week we'll we're having a private game um which will be up in the secret archives uh in on patreon so if you want to check that out then uh back us on patreon <laughs> it'll probably suck it'll probably it'll be, awesome. be great it'll be we have great. a new dm it's gonna suck. Guess I'm who excited. the DM is? <laughs> who DM? <you? laughs> um, yeah, we've got a lot of really cool stuff coming up. Uh, yeah, so join us on Friday on for uh, Mad Mage, and uh, next week for Yawning Portal, Hell where yeah. we're all gonna die. <laughs> See you on Friday. Right. Night.